Hi, I'm Steve Cavallo, and I'm going to talk about cross-plane and promises. Promise theory is a way we can think about interactions between agents within a system. In promise theory, we say, get into the state instead of do this. We're familiar with working the promise theory way, maybe from using Chef and Puppet and other config management tools, or most likely from using Kubernetes. In Kubernetes, we define and think in terms of end state. In Kubernetes, you don't write a stateful set script. You define and apply a stateful set manifest in Kubernetes promises to attempt to get into your desired state. Kubernetes uses a very literal implementation of promise theory, and many benefits can be realized at scale when promise theory is applied. It's also best if we can break things up into small sets of primitives, which can be applied independently. How does it all stack up? And how can we apply promise theory to some existing tools? In Terraform, we define our model in HCL, but the challenge in terms of promise theory is we don't know exactly what our model is until we run a plan or apply to generate it. Until then, it's not a true promise. In our first example, we're creating a spot instance, but we don't know what it will evaluate to until runtime. And in fact, we don't know what it will evaluate to in multiple different environments until runtime. In our second example, we didn't know that this Terraform apply would destroy our resource. Any human invention required makes it difficult to support at scale. With Terraform, there's also no control plane. So there's no guarantee of system state, and we have no way of knowing whether our, our existing promises are being kept. Where Terraform is great, though, is determining what changes to enact to bring a system into the desired state. However, at scale, managing anything is procedural. And when Terraform must be run in a specific order, or has specific dependencies, it gets very difficult to manage. Taking my previous examples, if a human has to intervene to see if any resources will be changed as part of a deploy, it gets very difficult to, to maintain its scale. CloudFormation allows definition in JSON YAML with very low interpolation. It is much closer to a promise. CloudFormation also has a control plane, so control theory can be applied. We have much better idea of what the state of our system is. So at scale with CloudFormation, we get high predictability of outcome. We have a better model of our end state. We have a control plane that can maintain drift in state. We still have the challenge though, when we have many cloud formation stacks with dependencies and specific orders that it becomes imperative. Cross-plane allows definition in JSON YAML and by nature must be aligned with promise theory because it's a Kubernetes operator. Very, very close to literal interpretation of promise theory. Because it has a controller, it can maintain our state. So as you can see in my example, we have controllability, observability, and the controller ensures that we're in our expected state. So at scale, cross-plane gives us high predictability of outcomes. In fact, all of its dependencies are promises. You can see in my example, I am role policy attachment, policy arm ref, is a promise, a role ref is a promise. We no longer have to worry about order. Cross-plane will keep retrying until those promises are satisfied. And versioning will allow us to verify which promises are deployed. Now in this screenshot, I have all of my cross-plane IAM roles and versions and visibilities into various environments. So using your favorite flavor of CD, you can get visibility into what versions of the promises exist, 
and whether they're in the promised state or not. In the promise theory, we can think of many, many resources, each maintaining the promised state and trusting all the other act actors in cooperation and harmony. So at scale, we can see cross-planning is maintaining all of its promises across multiple systems and much larger systems. So in conclusion, cross-plane keeps its promises. 